I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Cat Williams has officially dropped the comedy version of the Controverse. You guys remember when Kendrick Lamar pretty much went at a lot of rappers in the industry on that Controverse? Cat Williams with this Shannon Sharp interview is going at a lot of comedians. These comedians include Cedric the Entertainer, Steve Harvey, Kevin Hart, Faison Love, Ricky Smiley, even Joe Torrey and Jonathan Majors caught strays. Now, another person that also caught a stray was Michael Blackson. If you guys remember, Cat Williams and Michael Blackson have not been on good terms the last couple of years. It all started when Michael Blackson was on Drink Champs. He made a reference that Cat Williams allegedly smokes crack. From there, Cat Williams never forgot that joke. They were later on on the same Wild Night episode. Cat Williams got to roasting him. He was acting funny towards him that day and Michael Blackson could not figure out why. If you guys want to check out more on that story, please go check out my video on it here. But Cat Williams made sure to take a little shot at Michael Blackson during his Club Shay Shay interview. Here's what he said. Have you ever been booed, Cat? Yes, I have. What was that feeling like? Did it like want to give up? Because we don't, I mean, because when you have, I mean, I don't know how early it was in your career. Obviously it hadn't been in the, I don't think it's in the last decade because you've been immaculate. Have you ever dropped a pass? I have. I've been booed too. You know the little segment between everything is fine and I got it, and then you noticing where it is now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's that. Um, the thing about as a comedian, the audience's opinion is the only opinion that matters, not you the writer, not none of that. And so I don't think any comedian has ever been booed unnecessarily either. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> they, des they deserve it. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, what, what do they say when a guy shoots the air ball in the NBA? They say, air ball, right. to make sure everybody knows. But again, he still got to get back on D. Right. Like the game didn't end. He don't get to throw his hands up and sulk. Right. That's supposed to be used as a learning experience. Most comedians don't get booed enough. I mean, this is how you end up with a Michael Blackson who's a real African doing a fake African accent. Okay, well, don't. Uh, this guy is mad at me. All I did was give him the best advice of his life. Remember, he was wearing dirty dashikis. Dashikis. And I told him he needed to dress to be in the position that he's trying to say that he's in. And if you're the African king of comedy, sir, there's actually comedians in Africa doing comedy. If you're going to say that, you got to go to Africa and get a school, dude. Everybody got you. You got to put in some work. And these guys, they take my advice. They change their whole persona. And... And then they hate me for it. And generally, I'm just too big to comment or make a statement about it or do a live or any of that. But when it gets to be a whole grouping of these guys, I got to come and talk to Shannon. Now, Michael Blackson took to Twitter to respond back to him. He said, yo, Cat Williams is a very smart midget nigga. Hey, Michael Blackson, that word midget is very offensive to that community. You can either say dwarf or little person. Watch that word, brother. He took shots at the top 10 comedians alive today so we can all respond and make him relevant again. That's actually a very interesting point. Cloud Chaser 101 rulebook states, if you're not able to generate clout for yourself, if nobody doesn't care about what you're saying, take shots at the people ahead of you. It's a nasty game that happens in every industry, YouTube, sports, everything. I can't believe this lion dehydrated leprechaun said he told me to build a school. I only built a free school so the kids can whip your ass for free, mother sucker. Cat Williams is definitely top 10 comedians of all time and top five alive but we all have to agree he's not the cat of all five top 10 black comedians alive are eddie murphy chris rock dave chappelle cat williams martin lawrence kevin hart mike epps cedric earthquake and guess who 10 is you beach mother sucker now this is a very interesting take for michael blackson not only is he calling him out for being a cloud chaser 
but also saying he's not the same Cat Williams we knew from 05. Typically, comedians are supposed to get better as they age. With more life experience that they gain, their jokes and delivery start to get much better. I think I'm gonna let the hardcore Cat Williams fans tell me in the comments below. Do you guys think Cat Williams is now cloud chasing and has regressed? I know we all enjoy Cat Williams, but sometimes we gotta call a spade a spade. When is it the right time to let go of all these beef that you have with people? Most of those people Cat Williams was dissing on the Club Shay Shay interview, they all seem to have moved on, they don't care. Why keep on rehashing and reheating old beef? So what you guys think about Michael Blackton's reaction, push comments below. Subscribe to my channel and like this video. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop.